All right, so this video is follow up. We're gonna set Mysterium node up in Docker. So this is actually the same virtual machine we just used to uh, run the Sentinel node in Docker. Basically, we're just gonna use a different command and I'll post it in the bottom here that runs the Mysterium. I'm gonna really cut and paste it over here. It's gonna pull all the information and it's gonna give us uh, our IDs and the hash and then uh go to screen here. All right, so once that's running, we're gonna open up a uh browser window. And we just actually set this site with the uh, domain. We just use the uh, 4449 port when we started. There we are. Start your node setup just like we did in the first video. Got to run in the background on a public website. Click through and went over this in the uh, last video. So now I'm going to pause this real quick and then I'm going to log into my uh, Synology NAS and we'll do a quick talk about how to get that installed on that Docker. All right, so we here I have uh, my Synology opened up here. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, go ahead to the Package Center. Right, we're going to search for Docker. And we see Docker here, we're going to install that. Let's just take a second to download. Got that node up here on the Monasterium network. See that's up, it's got some data already. Point one missed earnings. Working very well. Get Docker installed. Once it starts up, we'll just click open. See our settings. All right, there it is, open. And here we can just search. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. I want to download this the latest one. There we go. We got that download. All right. So once we got it in there, we're going to start one up. I'm going to go in advanced settings. And go here to environment. We're going to add the command service. Miles Morris. And then we also want to go into port settings here. Want the port uh, 4449. Go to the same port. Apply. And next is going to run the Docker container. So here we go back to our containers. We're going to look at it, see that it's running. And, uh, go into our details and we can see the logs. We also have a terminal which will run through uh, what's going on in the background. And we'll open up some connection here. You may end up having to forward more ports once you get this set up. But there we are.
start the node set up just like uh, we did in our last video. All right, appreciate you watching. Hit that subscribe.